having good car control means having good catches, being fast, you know? So quick catches, you gotta catch, 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 you know? So. A basic drill is to take a tennis ball and a wall and simply bounce the ball off the wall. How many catches can you make in 30 seconds? You throw with one hand and catch with the other. Now as you continue to do this drill and get better and better, you get more and more hits in the 30 seconds. Hand-eye coordination, vision, everything. The Nike strobe glasses are a phenomenal tool for reaction and vision training. It's a visual disruption system that blocks your vision for a short amount of time and then allows you to see again. What this does is it makes your vision, the muscles of the eyes, very hypersensitive and very, very quick to see things faster because they have very limited opportunity constant visual disruption creates this ability for the body to react faster, quicker, see things in the limited time that it sees it. So when the glasses come off, everything moves a little bit slower. Again, we use these with the drivers outside of the race car, of course, and this enhances their ability to see things faster while they're in the race car. Well, we also have some very high-tech equipment for vision and reaction training that fits it. The DynaVision D2 is probably one of our crown jewels. This light board allows us to uh, improve the reaction and visual skills, peripheral vision specifically, of race car drivers. You have light board that will come on, you'll hit each individual light as you go. Uh, we also can add a series of numbers across a small screen here, so you have to focus on looking straight ahead. You have to realize as a driver, taking your eyes off of the track in front of you just for a split second create all kinds of havoc, and it can, a full straightaway can go by you by just looking over another car. We'd rather see you look at the car outside of your helmet, so to speak. So for a demonstration, I'm gonna show you how this works. And you can see the lights are coming on. I'm trying to stay focused on the board in front of me. Right now I've got a system where the rings are about halfway out, a little wider peripheral vision. And when I take my eyes off the actual screen in front of me, I don't do as good of a job. But this allows us to work with the driver and focus on getting his concentration, his visual skill, everything working properly. So we can determine, looking at a, a driver's score, for example, James Hinchcliffe, we can show which quadrant his reactions are better than others. Uh, the upper left quadrant, 0.43, lower left quadrant, 0.45, lower right, 0.45, upper right, 0 0.40. And we can determine if the driver has better vision in one quadrant and actually design a program where the lights just flash in that quadrant. And we do this kind of training with the heart rate elevated very, very high so that the drivers are simulating what goes on in the race car. So they'll, for example, row 60 seconds on a Concept 2 rower, jump off with a heart rate of 175 and go through 60 seconds on the D2. Come back and do it again, back and forth. So now instead of doing this reaction training when their body is very calm and relaxed, they're much more in the race situation where the music is blasting extremely loud, the heart rate is up, they're sweating, and they're having to also focus and react while doing the same thing. We'll also have them wear their helmets while using the D2, and that again simulates that kind of closed-in feeling of being in the race car. And that ability to do that, it's almost unfair, an unfair advantage. A simple drill that you can do for reaction training is a card drop. You take a deck of playing cards or flash cards, drop these from about chest height, eye height, to the driver, and they have to swap and grab one every time before it hits the ground. The cards tend to move in different directions, so you never know which way it's gonna go. To demonstrate this, the hands stay on, the waist and you wait for the car to drop out of the hand. All right, try to catch when it goes. Go. Hands on the waist. Good. Activities you can use to incorporate reaction training and hand and eye coordination is ping pong. It does certainly help to have some sort of a machine that can do that. We use the one of the RoboPong products is an automatic feeding machine that allows us to work on our own, adjust the speed, the oscillation, uh, the angle, everything about it, and track the progress. But you can just play ping pong with a partner uh, the same way.